Paper muna. Iinom lang ako. Pwede pa ba tayo ng computer cup? Oo, oh, okay. Check. Okay. Check ko na lang. Oh, sige. Balik ka na lang ha. Bantay ha. Thank you. Last! Bakang pagbigat din ako kay Dave. With the use of my flash drive. Nag-aral ako gumawa ng virus para lang makakapag-revenge sa kanya. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey my friend, what did you do to me? What the heck did you put to my system? My system will fail in 10 seconds. Adios amigo. Tika maron nung ginawa mo sa computer ko. No. Software designed to destroy, steal private information, or spy on a computer system without the consent of the user. Malwares are also known by the following names: malicious codes, malicious programs or malicious software. The most popular categories of Trojan horses, viruses, adwares, spyware, rootkits, worms, and so on and so forth. Malware can cause serious havoc to your computer system if you do not protect yourself against them. Wrath, how to prevent. The first step is, one of the many ways is to educate yourself very well about these malwares because it would be inappropriate to be applying security software against a virus when you have a Trojan horse on your system. So, a very good user or education is vital in fighting against malwares. Step 2. Operating system security fixes and program patches are very important as well. So make sure you keep your operating system up to date. The last step is to be proactive. Create a backup on your machine and create restore point often so that you can easily restore or roll back to previous state when your machine was it at its optimum performance. Leave it to me. Salamat pre. You're the first talaga pre. Pakasakan ka. Kahit maro na yan eh. That's it. Flooded na lahat ng accounts niya. Uy pre, salamat. Pakasakan ka talaga. Sige pre. That's it ako. Sige. Sige pre. Next time na lang. Okay. Threats to inform systems have increased 65% over the past two years. And the number of network intrusions has quadrupled. Any small business with a broadband internet connection needs to guard against this because against becoming a cyber crime victim. How to prevent envy? Number one, implement a firewall. A firewall is a bar barrier that keeps hackers and viruses out of computers' networks. Firewalls intercept network traffic and allow only authorized data to pass through. Number two, don't run unnecessary network services. Number three, Keep operating systems up to date. Upgrade op operating systems frequently and regularly. Install the latest patches or versions of software. When you share personal information on social networking sites like Facebook, you could be making yourself a target for crime. Identity thieves are using sites like Facebook to find personal information for financial gain. One teen learned that the hard way. Lisa Lockwood knew about her 17-year-old son's Facebook page, but didn't know about the computer games featured on the site he was downloading and playing, until she got a disturbing phone call. I received a phone call from Heritage Subaru Volkswagen the, about my son's credit application for a vehicle. Um, and I spoke to the gentleman and I said, my son hasn't filled out any credit applications. I don't know what you're talking about. and He's underage. Turns out one of the games her son was playing offered extra points in exchange for filling out a car loan application, an application that asked for a social security number. He provided the highly personal information, filling out a total of seven loan applications, a decision he now finds so embarrassing he wouldn't go on camera with us. 
My son's been kind of upset about it. He was invited to play this game from some of his school friends. I, I assume that they have all done the same thing as well. Um, and I think he's a bit embarrassed uh, about it that I caught him doing this. Facebook allows games to be downloaded from their site, but they must first be approved and meet their guidelines. Filling out credit applications is not a game. You shouldn't be getting points for filling out a credit application. It's not for children. I'm very surprised that Facebook has it out there, and I really would like them to take it off. Lisa Lisa believes the games don't belong on Facebook in the first place and fears her son could become a victim of identity theft through the remaining six loan applications still floating around in cyberspace. Parents need to talk to their children and tell them not to put out information, personal information on the internet. Popular websites like Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, Flickr, Blogspot, and Shanga make it easy to build a web of friends and acquaintances and share with them your photos, whereabouts, contact information, and interests. But be thoughtful of what about you. But be, but be thoughtful about what you post. Don't put your safety or, or your future at risk. Never forget, the words and images you post on the internet may be available for years, and your profile may be viewed by future employers and school admissions officials, as well as identity thieves, spammers, and stalkers. How to prevent vanity or pride? Number one, limit who can see you what you post. If you don't want random users to see your contact information, you will limit the publication of that data. Number two, limit what you, what you post. Don't share things that would make you vulnerable to unwanted contact, such as sharing your email address, physical address, or phone number, or to stalling, such as information about your schedule or routine.